Oh, vamps. Vamps, the opposite of a... Uh... Vamps, oh, glorious! Glorious. It tasted... It tasted that as a Don Nicellis, but yeah, it was, pr it was pretty fucking hot. Uh, thank you very much for the sub, Simeon George. Uh, oh man, I wish I could get a wizard. I guess I'll just get a babe, even though it's kind of irrelevant. I want to save up for a gutter runner, so I don't want to... Uh, he's only got 11 men. Got the mighty blow. One, two, three vamps. Pro first. Block, block movement. I, you know, I think his team would be better with dodge. But he's got three, three, three. He's got a lot of games, so maybe he doesn't look after his players. They only have eleven in this, so hopefully uh, he can make some mistakes that I can exploit. Five rerolls obviously would be too much, but it's vampires, so fair enough. No apple. I don't don't agree with that. So hopefully he can beat him up here. There's a chance of just beating him up, isn't there? <laughs> Oh. Really banged on by the hot sauce, but thanks very much for the sub there. All right, the Ross is in Italian. Uh, can you PM me it, uh, Svarho and Styles, please? If you PM me it on uh, on Twitch or post it on Discord, post it in the Discord is probably a better idea actually. Post it in the Discord, and then um, and then that's good, isn't it? You can do the do the discord here by the way i do have a discord if you're not in the discord get on the discord very very good <laughs> I don't think <laughs> no no let's not be let's not be mean to anybody ever please um, <laughs> but was... now the thing is though the th this is the thing everyone says go for the thralls right but Here's the thing that uh, I don't agree with the target the thralls or thralls thralls or however you want to say it. I don't really agree with that. I like to target the vampires because um, because the thing is they're still armor eight, you know. Like they're they're pretty easy to take out. They're not that much. It's not that much easier to hurt the thralls. Whereas obviously against uh, against lizard men, they've only got four guys who can handle the ball. And they're strength two, and they're stunty, and they're armor seven, as opposed to being strength four and armor nine. So it's so much easier to hurt a skink than it is to hurt a saurus. You know, you can three dice it, with you can hit it with tackle, you can hit it with mighty blow. It's just a lot easier to knock down, and a lot easier and a lot more impactful. If they lose, you know, if they lose two skinks, that's a big impact in their ball handling capabilities and ball moving like handoff plays. Um, but if they lose two thralls, it's nothing, you know? If they lose three, it's it's not that big a deal. If they lose four, they can still beat you as long as they got, you know, four vampires or whatever. So I I just like to, you know, go for go for vamps basically. I, I like to target the vampires themselves just because if a team has three vampires, they're still gonna they're gonna they can still beat you easily. If a team has zero vampires but eight thralls, they ain't gonna fucking beat you, <laughs> you know? unless you do something seriously wrong. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Plus the vamps might take out their own thralls. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All the weapons. Oh, that's burning. I might play Vermintide. I don't know if uh, you know, I don't know what it's like. Yeah, three vamps. Yeah, it's three vamps. One, one's gone pro. One's gone a stat. I mean, I, I, it's horrible rolling a stat first, but I think vampires just crave stats so much that I would, I would always take it. Yeah, he can fuck me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would, I would always take the stats, and I would just feel bad about it. <laughs> no, to think about it, in That's it. There's just not that much time, is there? And uh... maybe if I could just get the game, being a streamer, dude. Um, yeah, that's the thing. The stats. Are, I would want to take the stats, even though um, 
And even though they really fucking need block and dodge, I think the stats is just what makes. <laughs> Does he fucking stick his fingers up? Or is he pointing at his eyes? I don't know. Um. Me. Hey. There's a reroll. I mean, he's got five, so going three rerolls isn't that big a deal. Is that a plus movement throw? Oh, I don't. I don't agree with a plus movement throw. I think that's way worse than the dodge one. I think the dodge one's fair, you know. At the end of the day, yeah, obviously you'd probably go guard by choice, but it, you know you can't really say dodge is wrong on, on any player, can you? <sighs> Bite or die. Oh, I'm freezing now. Interestingly, he keeps him back as if to bite him and then moves him away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can't bite him anymore. That's interesting, isn't it? That's interesting. He can totally go for the pickup and have to have to bite now. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. He can totally fail. This would be funny without a reroll, wouldn't it? Could fail Bloodlust and then... Fill the GFI and, and run off the pitch. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I think I would have gone. I mean, fair enough having one block guy to blitz with. Um, but then you might as well just have a block throw and blitz with him, might you? You know, for more. Yeah, pros are safe one nine block. Yeah, I think it's safe to say he's not the uh, he's not the best player in the world. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was. That was crazy. Look at this. He's got a he's got a GFI twice if he fails bloodlust without a reroll. Oh man! <laughs> he's gonna bite himself, and it's not hard. Like it's not hard. People say, "Oh, vamp vampires are tough. You've got to think in advance." And it's like it's not that fucking hard to think about where this guy's gonna end up and have a have a throw where where he'll end up. It's not hard to think. You know, that's not really a lot of hard work, is it? To think when I spend two squares picking up the ball, I can go five forward. I didn't take much forethought. Yeah, he managed to completely, completely fuck it up. And if he had bloodlusted then, he would have had to either forget about the ball or rely on a pickup and two GFIs to not to not lose, you know, his best value. That was crazy play. Crazy play. Um no, Let's do this. And then this. Fuck you. Fuck you, it's a roger. <laughs> Bang done. It's fun, isn't it? The rogue is just fun. Look at it. He's how, how much of a badass is he when he fucking blitzes around? He's fucking class. Maybe I should have based somebody afterwards. Maybe he's based this down guy, actually. I should have definitely based the down guy. 100% should have based him. But I, I like putting him here to maybe do a surf because, you know, he's probably bad and will probably give me the chance to give it, get a surf. Plus, I'll blitz with him next turn. I don't, don't give a fuck. He's blitzing next turn anyway. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Dynamo does, yeah. Yeah, exactly, quick draw. Yeah, it would have probably just cost him the game. He was straight up. He straight up pretty much just had a one in one in twelve chance of losing is what is what happened there with his with his actions. And he'd even started with a throw back there as well. Yeah, the screen shake is all is all right when you've only got one. It's annoying when you've got like a team of ogres and they all do it. But, um, happy Jimmy doesn't surf. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like I like the ogres. 
<laughs> One double on a rogue block or claw. That's the question, baby snow. That's a good question. I mean, I like claw and juggernaut. Um, or claw then block, but because uh, just claws are too good, isn't it? Really. <laughs> I mean, I, I like claw because it's just, just broken in it. And yeah, block after. Block after is the dream, of course. But you can, and then you can go pine, you can't just have a claw pawn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's what I think are behind me, yeah. I like just using them for a short period of time and then getting rid of them. I mean, the thing about not moving after it, it keeps it keeps him and makes him roll a three plus dodge, doesn't it? Which he might use pro for. <laughs> um, I could blitz him and then surf him. Ah, just making a pass against Gaven. Just straight up, straight up making a pass against Gaven, like I don't know on a, on on the list of fucking crazy fucking things to do in Blood Bowl, making a pass against Skaven has got to be, <laughs> voluntarily, like that, has got to be one of the fucking most crazy things you can do, isn't it? Um, no real excuses for him there. That was, that is horrific. That is, you know, Blood Bowl 101, <laughs> the thing you don't do against Skaven, of all teams, is roll dice you don't need to roll. I'm gonna take a risk here. I mean, I've got five good scatters, haven't I? I've got five good scatters. I, I quite like going for the five good scatters. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Ir irrelevant in the end. But maybe maybe I shouldn't have gone for the scatter. But I I was just I just felt like it. Maybe it was a bad maybe it was a bad play. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. But I mean, where could it have gone? If it goes here, it's horrific. If it goes here, pretty bad. Here could be all, all right if he doesn't catch it because he, he's got minus two, so it could have gone to a decent one still. If it goes here, it could go to a decent one here. Um, obviously, these five are all fine. Don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done. Yeah, three plus is good enough for both teams. Yeah, true. True. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Cage up over here. I think I just go for the. Uh, Go for the pickup first and then see where the people are after that. Here maybe. One, two, three, four. And then a guy there, a couple of guys there. Yeah. Make him the bottom of the cage. It's a little bit risky. I can put him there. So I could go one forward. And guy there, a couple of guys there. I'd like to get away from the other the other fan. Could go all the way here and then just screen with three. Just screen with three. There's payoff there, isn't it? Because it makes him go back or whatever. 
I want to just get it far away from, you know, him and him. I want them to have to GFI to Kays or whatever. Dodge GFI stuff like that. Make him make more rolls. But yeah, choosing to make rolls against Skaven. You just can't do it. You literally can't. I mean, you can't do it against elves. You, you really can't do it against Skaven, can you? Yeah, if it wasn't vampires, uh, I would have gone for a safer cage here for sure. But yeah, I just thought the distance is good against the. Uh, yeah, the rogue is, wants to keep uh, wants to keep him. Maybe I could have moved one, I guess. But I just wanted to keep uh, keep him. I guess yeah, actually yeah, trying to move there. I guess I should have tried to move there because he was unlikely to go for a surf, wasn't he? And then he would he wouldn't have been able to get in always. Now he could do a three plus to get there. Mm. No, I just go put him on offense again. Seems he likes to roll dice. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna score. Yeah, almost any game, but particularly elves or elves or rats. Isn't it? I mean, rats is the one that you just don't do it against. You really don't. You really don't do it against rats. You should. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Eric behind me. Yeah, Woody's. Yeah, Woody's are just as fast as Skaven and everyone's agility to agility for. So yeah. Yeah, rats ball and. And also, they've just got the separation, haven't they, rats? That's the thing. It's like uh, rats can just take it away so far safely. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm definitely going to just score if I can. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's going to go for the three plus two plus, isn't he? To hit. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI. Yeah, I guess that's better, isn't it? Well, you should make the better play here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI. And the guard doesn't matter. It's not even that hard rolls, is it? 2 plus. 4 plus 2 plus. Not even. Not even hard. Maybe I shouldn't have, should have had him back there, so it would have been 5 plus dodging. Because he probably couldn't have run around the other way. Guard not doing anything. No, well, rolls a one. <laughs> yeah, true, Destronov. Yeah, that's true. Now he's got four plus two plus two plus without a without a reroll. Yeah, he could he could have changed the they could have changed the thing off a bit. Here. Yeah, guard actually probably wants to score more, doesn't he, to get the uh, to get things happening. Start with the two dice, which would get me another rat into play. I'll block on him for sure. Oh, this could get another. This could get another one. This could get the loner in there, and then that would get two more Skaven to play here, which would do something, wouldn't it? Could just blitz there and serve him, maybe. Right. Block here. See what happens. Because that's basically zero risk, isn't it? Two dice with block. What do I do when I get these two players? Make your pardon. I could chain forward my dodge guys so I don't have to GFI to score would be good. That's what I want to do. Mm. 
doesn't work, does it? So blitz there, and then push him, then he's two, three, four, five, and then he pushes him there, and then it's a thing. Still wondering why I passed dumb like that against Skaven. Yeah. Very risky versus rats. Um, so he can go in here to stop this. Other then no, he could do it after the blitz. But still, might as well try with him. No chain forward then. <laughs> no chain forward, no problem. Mm. Could score on the storm of him, couldn't I? If I can, uh, if I can fucking kill this guy. Don't have to dodge, do I? One in thirty six. Nah, I guess I can't. I can, there's no way to keep the, the storm vermin safe. I don't even want to fail this block, do I actually? Do I GFI? Yeah, go on. Fuck it. Levels him up, doesn't it? Which is good. Three guys out, one guy out. Mm -hmm. Seems fair. I don't do that, Pedro Jack. I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> Jim, yeah. Touch back, like every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, the one turn would be good. 4 1, yeah. It doesn't really matter, Wolf from Ajax, honestly, it really doesn't matter. There's a thousand TV rights, but the good good coaches do it both ways. It's uh, just personal preference, really, whether you like the role or not, whether you like the role or not basically. I like him. I think, he, I think he adds a lot. I think he adds a lot to the team, personally. Maybe I should have tried to stall it there. Just because of the heat. Don't know. But he's down to two rerolls already. He's used to reroll every turn. He doesn't hesitate using rerolls. So um, now he's down to one. He could put the ball on the ground for me again, couldn't he? So... Balls on the <laughs> Can block and foul that throw for revenge. <laughs> Minus MA. Not necessarily Whisper Visper. Not necessarily. He's still moving six, isn't he? Um. He's still moving six, so no, probably not dead. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll don't mind a few. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind a few injured guys on the LOS, especially minus minus AV. That's not, not not minus AV. Minus AG or minus movement can still go on the LOS, can't they? Until they die. Oh, Mitha. Uh, going going surprisingly well today. Yeah, cause you, just because you want men, you know, that's the thing. You want men with Skaven. 
you you want a bench and uh, you desperately want a bench. So if that means having some fucking injured guys, it means having some fucking injured guys. Right? But um, whereas with L, you'd sack him instantly because you're paying 70k for an agility four guy who can move seven squares. So you know you wouldn't even think about keeping him on L's. But with Skaven, if it gets you to 12 guys, it gets you to 12 guys, doesn't it? Yeah, 13 or 14, yeah. I hate it when they fail Bloodlust but only make a stun. Do you remember that game where I pitch played in first half just because he, he, his, his, his Bloodlust fails with Kaz? And, uh, it's, yeah, exactly. Line rats are just meat. <laughs> meat to feed your opponent. Um, <laughs> wow, re-rolling, re-rolling, non-turnover, one in nine blocks with Pro while attempting to. Ballsy. Ballsy. Pro's obvious you used to run, but you get more value out of it that way, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just early. If he if he dies, I won't replace him. Right, there's the screen. <laughs> now I'll try to. I know I have two squares to assist that, so. said Kiwi Nutsack attack is injured, but I didn't think it was. That's why I didn't react instantly. I, I was paused, I thought, am I really injured here? Both down and no balls, pretty good. Yeah, imagine if he fail, had failed regen then, that would have been amazing. Now he's safe from the heat, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly playing on my sofa. Yeah, if they if they make if they make, if he removes his guys when he when he fails bloodlust, it's obviously amazing. But when they're only stunned, it's, it's, I could have made that block as well if I'd if I'd done the block. Oh, it's not here anymore. Ah, I didn't even notice that. But good shout, Volpe's in cold. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. So all he did was fuck me. Typical, innit? <laughs> fucking, fucking typical. <laughs> all he did, all he did was fuck me over a bit. Brilliant. Yeah, can't feel my ball down on no balls is not great, but obviously when you when it's a fucking big guy, that's one of the few times where you've just got to eat it up, isn't it? And I'd rather keep my re rolls for. Ah, eh, maybe I could have re rolled that. I guess. Only need to keep one. I get, need to keep one for the one turn, don't I? For sure. So I've only got two re rolls, and even what looks like I've got three. So. I don't know, maybe I should have made the block first on the throw and then, then the blitz. But I didn't want to reroll the block either. Maybe I should do that. If I had wanted to reroll the block, then I would have made the block. It would have, would have stunned his guy and then the rogue might have. I would have killed him, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know, they're pretty, pretty dodgy. Could be a foul, could not it? Put up hilling with Wrestle here. Wouldn't even be that bad, would it? It is a foul. But if it is a foul, then he opens up. There's a gaping hole in his... Uh, <laughs> is this a pass? <laughs> oh, there's a gaping hole here. Dodged for two dice on the ball, but no recovery. 
<laughs> can't see it. Right, so he could go around here, couldn't he? And then he could just dodge. And then one dice for a one dice. Or he could get the guard in there. And then he could dodge GFI to two dice, but there'd just be no recovery. That would be the that would be the thing. It wouldn't be a recovery. Could just uphill it with wrestle. See if he stands up first. Good lad. Could just uphill it. Uphill it with wrestle. What's what's uphill with wrestle? One in four. Like that's got the biggest payoff because then the other gutter can just get it. Whereas now popping it loose just gets my gutter runner hit, and the other gutter runner blitzed, and he probably still ends up with the ball anyway, doesn't he? Don't go for the uphill. Doesn't mean getting three diced and uh, do you know what? I, I wish I'd just blitzed with the uh, roger now. I'm going to be boring. Forty three percent with re roll the sand. Getting punched, but don't want to give him too many free players. Maybe I should have followed. <laughs> Forty-three percent of you are decide. It wasn't a bad shot, was it? Obviously, three goers would have made it much better. Three gutters would have made any option much better because could have gone for the two dice blitz with a recovery or could have gone for the one dice uphill, uh, so for the uphill um, wrestle and then with a, someone to recover and pass it at the other gutter run. But, uh, yeah, it does seem pretty good, doesn't it? Can do it next turn though, probably. Nah, maybe not. Maybe that was the chance. Now I can have a big cage, can't you? Potentially. And I'm not really a big cage. Three players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chaining the rogue forward would be amazing, wouldn't it? I, th I th realised that afterwards. I was like, oh man, that could have been, that could have been a crazy rogue thing. Yeah, maybe take a death. Yeah, maybe. Without being unfair to him. Um, yeah, maybe more cautious because of, uh, you know, like maybe it's, if it was if it was Ducky, I guess I'd have taken the forty three percent shot because probably not going to get much better than that. Are you? Whereas against somebody who maybe isn't as good, you you can you know think you're going to get more chances. But I mean, it's just a dodge here, isn't it? And then he can make a full cage. But still, even against a full gauge, I can dodge in with dodge and have an uphill block, so. <laughs> yes, it done, but you know what I mean. Oh. You you do, like uh, Mull. I always remember the Mully D one dice he did against, uh, against Ducky. 
50-50, you, you re-rolled it, you got a push and then re-rolled it and got a power. And so it's probably the right play, wasn't it, you know, against against Ducky. Probably wouldn't have been the right play against some random some random dude in Col. But um against Ducky probably the right play. I think I'll go for the uphill this time, eh? Just going for more blocks. So you can't really dodge now and you can't really block either. So it's looking like this guy can come in here to cancel the assist and then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Because I'd rather hit him there to put him on the sideline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Come on, come in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Yeah, maybe it did, Valene. Maybe it did. But now, I, now, now I've got the ball in the crowd potentially, and a potential touchdown out of it, haven't I? So there is, there is the bigger payoff this time. Let's do these first. No dodge used. Dodge used now, so now it's definitely better to make the two GFIs. Go on. Do I re-roll it? What would Mully D do? Ah. Oh. Boo. <laughs> GFIs are better. GF two GFIs is better odds than a three plus dodge Valenia. So it literally makes a tiny bit of a difference. Not literally none. It literally makes a tiny. It, it, it literally makes a marginal difference. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I could have protected against the surf if it was a if I'd gone the three plus dodge then I guess yeah I could have protected against the surf a little bit more. I think this protects against the surf a bit, doesn't it? Getting guard in. This guy to fail. But then, does he dodge out? Or does he just stand up and then he blocks him? I guess he just stands up and he blocks. Literally or literally. Yeah, if I'd used dodge, I would have probably done, gone for the dodge. 
But even then, using the dodge on the dodge, using your reroll on the dodge, like it reduces your chances of getting there. But then on the other hand, it gives you the like it's an interesting choice if you've still got dodge available. But if you haven't got dodge, it's just better to roll two pluses. Two two pluses is better than three. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, that is what literally means nowadays, isn't it? Mao used his reroll instantly. Yeah, so that was good. That was good standing him up and getting punched. A rogue. Yeah, I mean, he had to. He had to reroll at that time. To be fair, that was an insta. That was an insta reroll, but it was also a completely irrelevant block. So, if he fails something now, it's his. It's his fault, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe, maybe this was a bad place. Maybe I could have gone here. Like, I wanted to go here to make it a bit harder for him. But then that would have given up the surf for sure. Whereas the, having the guard in makes it a bit harder, doesn't it? Makes it a bit harder for him. He's got to try for the score here, hasn't he? Right, good, he did the right thing. Well, he doesn't have to be in the end zone, so he nearly did the right thing. Obviously, but he could have been here. He didn't have to be in the end zone there. I've just been extra G5 for no reason. Alright. So, um... The wrestle guy's closer, isn't it? Pretty good. Not gonna even try the surf or the pass. <laughs> Fucking Skaven. <laughs> who even who even thinks Skaven are fair? <laughs> uh, I guess he just stands up. And he's gone. It's stupid, isn't it? What do I what do I do with this guy? I mean, you can easily free him up to double GFI and hit it. Maybe I should have... No, I guess I could have punted it. Maybe I'll put him there. It's probably the best, isn't it? Oh, well. Getting to do this is okay. This is secondary. Secondary course of action. And now he could come around to protect this way. Don't hate it. Yeah, so I think if I'd powered, I would have stood here. Which meant you'd have had to run around and hit from that angle, wouldn't he? Whereas now, yeah, he's basing with the tail, which is, which is good. Didn't serve. Well, not yet, Wolfie's and Colton, not yet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he was unlucky. He was unlucky to fail that GFI, but then obviously he should have. Uh, he shouldn't have made the block, so he shouldn't have used his reroll. And also, he made an extra GFI for no reason in that sequence. Um, and also, he exposed this guy to a surf, which he shouldn't have, because he could have just put him in here, because he's still bit in the end zone. Tail, well, it works one in six times, I guess. 
It's not 2 0 yet, Jam Toast. <laughs> I did scatter the ball once, yeah, I did. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have scattered the ball once, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have scattered then. Mul D likes to scatter. But then. He said one time, I remember, maybe he shouldn't scatter it sometimes. And he just. I just like scattering it. It's just something I like doing. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, that, that, that's good position these two, isn't it? It shuts down this these plays pretty well. So it forces him to go for 4 plus. Um, for 4 plus dodge, basically. Yeah, true, couple of that's, yeah, there you go. So that, that that push, actually, if I hadn't made that push, if I hadn't made that one, that uphill block push, um, he wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't have been able to. Wow, oh, fails it. Banged on. Banged on. <laughs> uh, this is two GFIs, isn't it? I'm a one GFI. <laughs> Fucking Skaven. So I could do a two dice with block, I guess. Can't make it a three dice, but can I'll do a two dice. It's, it's alright. Fuck it. If it fucks me, it fucks me. Didn't. Tail. Did, was, was tail the difference? Yeah, three. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hello, Resident Development. Uh, no, w winning actually now. Last the last two games and hopefully this one. So um, yeah, it has been a good game for the world of this one. And heat is over. Oops. So yeah, two 0 up. A, a, a lineman a bit fucked up, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably do the rest of development. Oh, I had a game on Sunday though uh, with the uh, rebel. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant, jump talk. Well, I don't know. Uh, the troll game was crazy. Sounds stew. Um crazy but ended up I, I sideline caged because something happened and then uh, he kind of he crashed into the, the sideline cage but then I was able to reverse it so yeah that's true cake of if yeah that is true it's the same with technicals isn't it really it changes what people do yeah it is it is it is snowing well it was snowing um, right now let's have a look no it's sunny um, it's just fucking, yeah, it's fucking things a little bit. It's actually sunny, but um, it was snowing earlier, and it is covered in snow, yeah. Yeah, like Frenzy. Frenzy works when no dice are all as well, doesn't it, as well, you know? Frenzy, Frenzy is the same kind of thing. Um, he's, he's tried it once and it failed, that I know of. He hasn't really had the chance to use it because, uh, you know, I ran away from the other... The other Thumbs. Oh god, there's a dodge guy. Just ask him to be served here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Now this guy really wants to fucking score, doesn't he? So let's give it a fucking Mully D. If we can. Yeah, fr Frenzy can be a liability, yes, of course it can. It is a double-edged sword, yes. I am in Rebel now, yes, uh, I am in Rebel. Just going to get surfed, hopefully, buddy. Uh, do I just give it straight to Mully D? No. Let's deliver it. Let's deliver it next time. And another. Oh, fuck. Double ones on the armor as well, wasn't it? And double skulls. Fuck's sake.
That's actually in scoring range as well, isn't it? Pretty niftily. That is in scoring range. So it looks like I'm just, just hitting. He's out of vamp range on this movement 7 one. So you can go one fall and still be out of vamp range. Come on, Roger. <laughs> Can't fucking do it, can I? The life of me. Can't fucking sir. <laughs> He's in scoring range. <laughs> Two squares in. <laughs> Fucking Skaven. What, what even are Skaven? No cards. Oh yeah, maybe I should have tried some kind of way of getting the Storm Vermin uh, touchdowns. You'd have to ask him. <laughs> yeah, should he give it to a storm vermin? Yeah, yeah, I guess I should have done jump toast. It's not that easy though, because he's got fucking vamps, hasn't he, you know? Um, so, you know, if I'd given it the storm vermin, he can, he can do stuff, can't he? So yeah, maybe that what maybe what I want to do is stall and then and then pass the ball to a storm vermin, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I should try and get the storm vermin into a scoring position. And then hand it off to him. Or pass it to him. But you know, I don't I don't want to hold it because he'll just get blitzed by a vampire one. Moldy's on 11. Oh wow. Oh yeah, Almato's on 12, yeah, so I could, actually I should have given it to Almato, shouldn't I? And then he, his completion would have put him a touchdown away. So yeah, I totally did the wrong thing there. I sh what I should have done was, I should have had them popped around, had Almato back to do the completion, yeah. So I really fucked it all, I guess. But never mind. <laughs> never mind. I just want to try and keep it out of range of yeah. Okay, so he can just stand out of range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G5, G5. He is out of range of all of them, pretty much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can only base him. And that's max. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it would be a diagonal base. Plus, I'm going to knock him over this turn, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, blitz him. Get the storm vermin down. Ready to score. Oh, Roger. 
Look at him, he's a fucking badass. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's actually perfect to hand off where he is. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. as well so yeah uh, whatever whatever hard to care too much isn't it <laughs> has the yoga been worth three line rights yeah I think so I think so I don't know Now, the, the plan was for Muldrups to, to, to score and get blocked. Uh, but now, obviously, I want to get Pedro Jack the touchdown. Handoff pass. <laughs> Nine forward handoff. <laughs> and then pass it in the air. Yeah, the surf last game, yeah. Yeah, the, the linemen wouldn't have done any good then, would they? For sure. Has he ever rolled one on a Budless? Not, not often, but I mean, he's failed a number of two dice blocks. So, you know, he used his rerolls up even though. It... <laughs> yeah, by Kate. It is, it's gone pretty well so far today. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point as well, Fang, is yeah, you don't get 13 on the pitch without it. If you could get 13 on the pitch without it, you'd be, you'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Hello, Hippie. 2 and 0 at the moment, looking like 3 and 0, but you know, anything can happen. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I imagine 3 and 0. 3 and 0, it's, it's looking like 3 and 0, isn't it? Really? If I could be serious for a minute, it looks like 3 and 0, which is. Not bad. Certainly better than better than uh, the other days. <laughs> but then Skaven are better teams than uh, the Oh man, twenty five peasants when they could all be on the pitch, that'd be that'd be hard to win against, wouldn't it? <laughs> it really would. <laughs> is, is that the best team you can make? Probably. Maybe his goblins would be really good actually. Maybe his 25 goblins are on the pitch because they could just dodge anywhere as well, couldn't they? He's used his blitz. He isn't. Uh, th this guy's a bit in the way, isn't he? No, but they're not really because I could just hand it off to him. <laughs> yeah, blob skills, mate. Blob. Nothing because I'm a bit of a fucking idiot. Oh, 30 odd halflings would be really good, wouldn't it? 33 halflings would be uh, pretty strong. Yeah, 25 fenders, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can just hand it off to Matt here. I can block here, blitz there, and then hand it off and then pass. And then it gets him the touch, it gets him the point away from like, you know, it gets him the touch within touchdown range of his level up. And also gets the touchdown on him. So, yeah, that's definitely the play, for sure. And he's still thinking about this gutter runner. Poor bastard. <laughs> I've actually got a cover for things going wrong as well. Which is fucking crazy, isn't it? I guess get him off the sideline first. Really shitting me at block myself. <laughs> I fucking block myself. Safe moves. Blocking yourself first. Standing in literally the worst possible position. Pro tips. Fuck me. 
That's horrific, isn't it? <laughs> the single worst part I could have stood in. I guess now I do the pass here, though, seeing as you know I was going to do a pass anyway. So it doesn't it doesn't change the chances of success actually. It just changes who gets the star player points. Was, you know, so it wasn't that big a wasn't that big a deal actually. Just a little, just a little disappointing, you know, but horrific. But annoying that I've got the I've got the points on the wrong guy. And in fact, that was maybe even the better way of doing it, because then the risk, the risky play of the pass was done first, so that if reroll was used on that, I didn't have to go for the handoff. So that might have actually been the superior way of making the play. Um, but not what I wanted. That was good. Thanks. I guess I'll protect the six star player point. Storm Vermin. Let's do the noob, the noob bashing setup. Oh, that's good, isn't it? You're a good player, Jimmy. All my mistakes are being exploited. Thank you. That's not. What a what a what a lovely thing. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is this nice in the world? It's crazy, isn't it? It's happened like a few times. It's happened a few times, to be fair, in Blood Bowl. It has happened a few times, but it's fucking crazy when it happens, isn't it? Normally, people would just be saying, oh, my dice are shit, oh, this game's stupid and stuff. But isn't that fucking brilliant? Wow. That's, that's fucking unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's just it's just salty fucks, you know. Can't believe I rolled a one on that. Like that fucking chaff guy who made fifty fucking GFIs in the game. The only thing he wrote was moaning about uh, moaning about rolling the ball. That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that should get him here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm streaming at twitch.tv slash Jimmy Fantastic. What a lovely I'm gonna cry, yeah, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> 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 I agree, I'm super nice. Don't call him shit. You know, he can be new, can't he? Um, or maybe just not optimal, you know? Like, he saw that he's making mistakes. So that's that's already better than a lot of people who are, what you would say, was shit. <laughs> you know, that's the thing, isn't it? Most people, most people who are shit and make 50 go for it just get salty when they fucking fail one. Um... But you know, to, to to make that pass and then was like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah exactly, in Pro Augustus, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that, Jam Dog. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, he could he could learn to choose better skills, yeah he could. <laughs> He's being nice so gets super salty when he kills the roll, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Nah, all good. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Four out of five elf players in Birmingham have a broken spirit bro. Check this pass out. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a good point, Adrian. 
No optimum. <laughs> oh no, so sorry Sergeant Adley, you'll, you'll get a wrestle, um, you'll get a wrestle rather than kick and we'll be sometimes pressed into LOS duty due to being a fucking skaven, maybe a dirty player but probably block it or something. Dragon's Dogs. It's still not embarrassing, no, it's, it's just, just games, isn't it? It's just games. <laughs> yeah, because that's a, that's, a, uh, that's a good point. Oh, God, yeah. Wow, Jantos. What's, that's a super nice thing. It, should I just copy-paste that? That's, like, super nice. How do you even be that nice, Jantos? <laughs> It's alien to me. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm obviously super nice. Right. Uh, do I go all men's now? It seems risky. Yeah, it might just be condescending. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the problem. Like the problem that I have with like trying to help people is. A lot of people just think it's fucking condescending, don't they? And, uh... Like... Even if... Oh, shit. Even if they ask for it. Even if they ask for advice, a lot of people don't actually want advice. Even though they ask for it, so... I kind of... I don't know. I don't really ever know what to say. Or do. Or anything. Do I just all men's him? I think I'd do all men's him. Because you know? he's going to get get to hit people anyway, whatever the fuck I mean. Alright. You can, you can fucking score a touchdown here. And... You can try to score a touchdown as well. And you can try to score a touchdown as well. Alright, see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah. <laughs> I'm not the most tactful of people. Yeah, you can say that lemon is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Aromaya, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? And like, so like after the game, I have a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, fair enough, John Toast, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Strad DK, yeah, so it's, it's tough, isn't it? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have. Have I used my Apple? I haven't used my Apple, have I? So, exposing these isn't so bad. But, you know, he was doing a job. He was stopping an assist coming in here to two dice this guy. He's strength five, so, you know, I thought basing up was relatively not risk-free, but not bad. Um... But yeah, you know, like pe people, people. The worst thing is people on fucking uh, people on like Facebook and that, just literally asking for advice. Like rate my army. They say rate my forty k army here. Uh, it's got you know, it's got fucking all this stuff, and it's uh, <laughs> exactly. <took> <laughs> um, no, I I do say it sometimes. I say well more that I made a mistake. I mean, mostly people outplay me by me making a mistake, don't they? I mean, it's rare for for someone to outplay someone good, apart from them just making a mistake, isn't it? Like, uh, like you know, I don't know if you remember, uh, Ducky, when I did that chain push of the tree into into your breaths, you could argue that I made a nice chain push there, 
But you could also uh, argue that you made a mistake letting me do it. And, and you could you could say that was a, mis a mistake by you rather than a good play by me as well, you know? So it's... Who knows? <laughs> so do you know what I mean? Was I outplaying Ducky when I did that? Or was was that was I just exploiting a mistake that Ducky made? You know, that's... Base, that's... Base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the road. <laughs> that's awesome, one in the <laughs> um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not saying that it should stop you congratulating me. And what I'm saying is, though, Ducky, but it is it was that was that being outplayed, or was that um, or was that you making a mistake? What do you think? Do you what do you think, Ducky? Is the question. Score if he wants. Didn't put it on the score there, did he? Um, yes, Wolf from Ajax. I would say Purple Goo. Um, I've struggled every time I played Purple Goo, but of course, Purple Goo is is arguably the number one player in the world, so that's not really news to anybody. Um, yeah, I would say that was the biggest one. Alright, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a fun play now. Come on, Lona Line Rat. <laughs> Get in. Get the fuck on. <laughs> You should have done it. You should have done the minus two with the wrestler. I would have got it. I would have popped it with the wrestler. The eyeball was. He was. He had lost his uh, tackle zone from hypnotic gaze. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Arrested development. Yeah, I struggle with arrested football. Anyone who's ever played football. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's the best. Pretty much the best in the world. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Loner power. Um, yes, exactly. Wolfram Ajax. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, th this game is. It's done now, isn't it? But, uh, you know. <laughs> it tells you about focusing, I guess, to, to close out a victory, maybe, sometimes. Though not this game, really, because I just did a stupid thing now. But, um. Yeah, I guess because goes more in his comfort zone at the lower TV. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, struggle versus purple goo. I have beaten him. I have beaten him. I've I've lost both times I've played purple chess, but that's because he has fucking horrible. Min max there, uh, <laughs> min max dwarves every time. What I can, what you can do on fumble is the versus on fumble, isn't there? Um, versus record. So what you can do is, here you go. Look, I can link you this. I can link you this on fumble here. Um, and this shows you. Oh, stone troll. This show. God, smash up. I've uh, no smash up. I beat six times. That was the total. Who have we got on here? Stone Troll, I played him five times and he's beat me five times. He had the better team a fair amount though in, in those five, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it's looking like Stone Troll's the worst. Played him five times, lost every time. Played Ulrich three times, lost three times. He's probably had like Lizard Men against <laughs> low TV chaos though. Um, so I'm not really surprised about that. And, uh, Dak Tuck played him twice, lost both. He's really good, in my opinion. But then, you know, I've got a quite a good record against like some people. Jupiterian, 3-2-2. Two, two, two. End zone, 2 2 1 against end zone, pretty good. 3 1 1 against wreckage. 
So. Mm. Played Tarabarawa. I played Tarabarawa a lot. 5 1 4 against Tarabarawa. Pretty cool. No, stadium upgrades do not do not increase TV now, because they have, oh wow, dirty dingo, because they have like a symmetrical effect kind of thing. Yeah, Doctor, I mean like I actually remember the games against him because I thought, wow, he plays well, um, which is rare, isn't it, to uh, remember somebody playing well against you. Do I just go for a hit here? I guess I do. Like I could just let him score, but on the other hand, <laughs> I could just stop him scoring. <laughs> so, makes you think, doesn't it? I don't know what he rerolled. I was I was completely not paying any attention to him there. I was just I was just looking at my record on fumble against different people. But yeah, Stone Troll's the worst my worst record by far on fumble. We've played him five times and lost five times. Um now when we played, um you know we played Claw Pom versus each other a few times and I felt like he completely outplayed me both times. Um so having said that I never get outplayed. Well I didn't even say that, Ducky just said that as a joke. But, um, yeah, I, you know, a few times that I played him, it was like, you know, he, one time it was Ogres against his, uh, against his halflings, which, <laughs> you know, Ogres even against halflings aren't favourite, are they? Um, but, don't really care about this one. Might as well just go for like a one dice, so. Stick him onto the stick him onto the rogue. Why not? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I think I've I haven't really had a better team than him any time we've played. I think with Stone Troll, uh, I can have a look. can I have a look and see all the games that I played against him. I don't know. Yeah, you can, can't you? If you click on somebody, you see all of your games against him. I lost four to anybody. I'm zero. I'm um, zero one three against purple chest. Um, so that's not good, is it? So I haven't beat purple chest in four games, but again, he's normally got horrible in max one. Yeah, stone troll. Let's have a look. He had wood elves against against a silly uh, Norse team, so I'm not surprised he won that. Um, Griefer's gonna grief against uh, 13 30 Nurgle versus 13 10. Um, packed. That was pretty even. I, I just felt like he completely outplayed me that game. And then also his Chaos Team versus Griefer's, and he, I just felt like he completely outplayed me there. Um, Flings versus Ogres, obviously, I had no real chance. And then Nurgle. Is his fucking ridiculous 2380 TV Nurgle versus 1980 Dwarves? I had no chance there, really. So, so really, you know, it's a bit. He was favoured in three of those five, but the two that were even, he just, I, you know, it felt like he just completely, completely and utterly outplayed me. I think, I think Stone Troll is really good. I do rate, I do rate Stone Troll a lot for sure. I rate him a lot higher than I guess most people would rate him, but then. Yeah. Like he still won majors, hasn't he? Or at least one major as well. So I guess most people should rate him highly. Brutal cherry picking. Yeah, purple goes really good. I did beat him though. <laughs> Emphasis back. Hmm. Right. 
<laughs> First of all, <laughs> get in scoring range. <laughs> Fucking scathing. Um. Is this double G a fighter hit? No. Dodge double G a fighter hit. No, fuck it. Fuck it, what else am I gonna do? Wow, didn't fail. Literally cannot believe that that did not fail. Literally. Literally. Right, so he can go there. He can be uh, the go between up there, can't he? So he can screen it a bit. Something. Kill a guy, probably. Nope. I guess just base him because why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. I mean, literally, it's just literally stupid that literally doesn't mean literally anymore, doesn't it? <laughs> Stony has multi multiple majors, yeah. Fair yes, that's that's true. Arrested development, yeah, that's true. Hello, Palestine. That's good. It's good to be back playing not as bad as I was before, and not with not as bad dice as I had before as well. Vampires could at least have movement seven, yeah, maybe. If you wanted to make them above what tier they are now. Or at least win a little bit more than they would now. Movement would be natural for them, wouldn't it? Seems they're like fucking movement six in in Warhammer. Um, they are way between a human and a horse. <laughs> then uh, yeah, it would make kind of make sense for them to uh, be movement seven. <laughs> I don't think it's all literal. How to be nerds, humans. So. Oh, I'll wrestle. <laughs> I don't want my, I don't want my gutter to die. <laughs> fun, fun times, and it just gave them things. I'm just scaling things. Zero bollocks. I don't care. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of, of having zero bollocks. A gutter runner's life is worth more than a than a fourth touchdown in a in a four nil. You know, in a you know, in a victory like this. If he makes it, he makes it. I'm not gonna cry about it. Didn't make it. He even had pro for the pass as well. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is better to hit from that angle, isn't it? I got there in the end. How, how likely is the touchdown? Probably is really fucking likely, isn't it? <laughs> Pass, handoff, score. I just don't let it make this three dice block. I mean, I guess I'm getting a level anyway, so it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm gonna score again. Yeah, hopefully. 
Oh. Now, Shawnee, now. Maybe I should have just done a 3 plus pass because you can't die on a failed pass. Um, and 2-2 two, two is only slightly better odds than 3. So maybe I should have... Uh... <laughs> Can smile about it because he didn't fucking die. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I should have done the pass there. Just because 2-2 two, two is only slightly better than 3, isn't it? I think at the end of the day, I probably shouldn't have made a GFI that I didn't need to make. I mean, it was it was higher odds of scoring. So, saying punished is a little harsh. Um, but yeah, maybe I could have made the, the rogue a block, just because it was kind of safe. Maybe he's heard something. From, um, SPP if he has your own player. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Elfgrass would have saved him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that as well, Skrill Dude. Yeah, it was a uh, Red Corsair or something, wasn't it? And I expected fully like a movement 10 agility for a human catcher or like strength 5 blitz or something like that. And he just had like a normal human team. Just had a completely fucking vanilla human team. What won a major. Insane. Uh, probably yes, we'll do. Hello, Colin Guy, one two five. That's good. Hello. Roll <laughs> twelve dice against a potato wing snob. <laughs> it feels bad, man. Oh shit. Oh well, GG anyway. I actually would genuinely wish him good luck over this because it doesn't matter to me, does it? Wow, making it harder for himself. I guess he'd rather skill that guy up. He's got a reroll. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I just scored with a foul. Mm. Don't like, don't like that play. I mean, I guess it's it's harder to score with them than it is with vampires. But I would want, I would want all of my star player points on vamps if I could choose. <laughs> like you know, obviously not literally all of them, but you know, any time I get to choose, I choose points on vamps to get them blodge and stats and everything. Okay. No, I don't want to buy a shithead Lino. MVP for Backyard Dodo, not bad. Um, out blocked him, good. Did I make too many dodges? 24, uh, 14 GFIs, maybe I, would, maybe I was a little bit greedy on them. Wow, 11 out of 12 GFIs, pretty good. All right, let's see what the rats get. So three level ups, oh yeah, the fucking Roger. Rogue gets Juggernaut, I guess. Uh, Pedro Jack gets Claw, without any doubt. Finally got Claw in Blood Bowl 2. And uh, misclick there, brilliant, well done. And normal, we'll probably wrestle, wrestle for him, I guess. So now there's two guys on 12, which need a completion and a touchdown to level up, which is pretty good, isn't it? And I guess I can buy a the fourth gutter this game. Fourth gutter now, and then movies go up to twelve or thirteen after that. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.